that. That's good. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, I, 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 could, I was just, I, I could tell yeah, you I'll now, but oh, you don't no, want no, me no, to no, tell no, you no. now. No, 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 no. Now here we conversate. All right, we're back up. Hey! Oh, yeah, Super Scover, I wanted to ask you. Hey, <laughs> cockers! Is cockers bad or no? That that, that phrase, cockers. Because I like that, um, the dog, the, the dog guy that says, we're just normal men. Just human men. <laughs> Like, I think Wait, that dog we, is so fucking hilarious. That's like we live on the internet now. Yes, you're we saying, are. Answer the question. Me this, Keep up. Me this live on the internet Keep now. up. Point Dexter, oh come on. Right, so uh, the dog that says cockers is a little bit yeah. after my time. I'm, uh, I don't really, never watched it. But what I do know is that the people who were manipulating the dog behind the scenes, there was a culture of partying and drugs going on at the BBC. I ser- I've got a video on a certain seven gram Sarah Honeywell who was doing loads oh. and loads of party powder. While she-, she was in the studio getting gunged and then she was out on the town getting party powdered. So, Sounds um, like a good time to me. Yeah, I've got a video like, how about the word kind of- cocker? I so want to cocker, sure right. In, in the north people say, hey up cock, you know, hey up cock, how's it going? Or like you might say stuff like that, but it is also synonymous with a penis. So like, it- not every part of the the UK says it. That dog said it a bit on the telly, maybe. <laughs> so, <laughs> am I allowed to say that or not? That's my question, really. Uh, it depends it, what where, who you're saying it to. Is it not parents' evening, probably? Don't make like, me think about it. I just want to use it. I want some more. Cool where where do you want to use it? For what, for what purpose? I don't know. I want to be cool. Just to call people names. <laughs> call, like, cool. Now, right. I'd lay off yes. it for the cool factor. <laughs> okay, got it, got it, got it. Anyways, we're back, fully percent back. And we got, to, to, we got about 30 minutes, 28, 20 minutes left or whatever. We got to get, I know... Baxter, we've already asked you your backstory. So can we get a quick version of how you got into this thing? And then we'll ask Super Scuff because we haven't asked him. But Baxter, you first. How'd you get into this? You mean the whole DS- the, the whole DSP thing? Yeah, 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 yeah. Snortex, yeah. I think yeah. I originally saw, um, what's it? Evil AJ. Evil AJ's uh, MGS3, this is how you don't play. Okay. And this, that was the point I knew of DSP. I think that was in 2015, 16. And then I came on over since uh, that whole... And there was a whole uh, lawsuit from uh, Jim Sterling versus Digital Homicides, if you know anything about these people. Okay. And um, obviously Jim Sterling won that one at the time, and after that I'm like, hmm, I wonder if there's more low cows out on the internet. And I know, wait, wait, <laughs> wait a second, how is DSP doing? And he was playing, um, what, what was the game? That superhero game, it starts with In, not, not Invictus. Injustice. Something. Injustice 2, he was playing Injustice 2 at the time, and I was like, yep, okay. Let's join uh, Dipshit's Phil Discord. Rest in peace, that channel doesn't exist anymore. And uh, yeah, then I joined Freedom Chat, and that's my journey from there. Big ups. I remember the video that had that sound clip of, this is Dipshit Phil. I don't know who's, who that is. <laughs> like this you video talking about? subscribe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Those sound clips get like just drilled in. Yeah. All right. Super Scuffer, let's hear your backstory, please. The first time ever, Super Scuffer's backstory explained. Go ahead. Okay, so uh, I've been on YouTube or aware of YouTube for ages. So, like, you know how you like know people are on YouTube, like, but you don't watch them. Like, I don't know, PewDiePie, Markiplier, they're big YouTubers, but you didn't watch them. Like, Phil was known because he jerked off, really, wasn't he? Like, basically. So, yes. for, like, for most people on YouTube, you could sort of be aware of who he is. But I also, like, I was aware of the... The community of people it, at the time back in the day there were people getting swatted and it was like a big thing on youtube and like you know there's all sorts of like heavy trolling going on um and conversations about that and so I, I guess his name used to come up in that but um it's big shouts out to all you chuffers really and the, like uh i was listening to long form psychology videos i found steve of the dead uh because of like maybe because of that being said like meerkat's music came up and like i would be doing like diy stuff and i'd have like playlists of comedy songs with meerkat's music on um oh, okay. and it's like it was it was the other people around dark side phil and all the content they were making in the creative sense that got me more interested in like getting sucked deeper into the vortex so uh now i committedly watch king jad shouts out king jad um detractor beam and this obviously um and yeah try and keep up with what phil's doing um but yeah i was amazed by the way people were able to like steve of the dead you know to turn it into hours and hours of inter- intelligent podcast content um and you know the creative music and all that so yeah shouts out to everyone else big ups dude big up meerkat you want to tell your story again Go ahead. um well what what was my story? I don't know. I, I think <laughs> I, I started watching through Liquid Richard because he was just so much fun making those songs. And mm-hmm. one of the songs had DSP on it. I tried watching DSP and his drama stuff, and I thought he was super boring. 
Because on the surface, he is definitely just super boring. He's just a guy that begs for money. And then I decided to go a little bit deeper, watch some of the, you know, the, the documentaries about him. And yeah, that's it. I made my first video because he was begging for memberships like crazy. And his whole narrative was that the memberships are supposed to help him and he's not supposed to give anything back for them. And that pissed me off and I made a video about it. And then that, <laughs> that's kind of the whole thing. In terms of content creation, uh, I've been making YouTube content for a long while, like eight years. I've done an ASMR channel and I had this like B-side channel. Um, I'd also, don't want to don't blow my own trumpet here, I don't like to talk about this a lot, but I made a documentary that went on Netflix about a strong man in the UK. Um, oh, okay, wrap nice. it up, wrap it up. <laughs> no, but honestly, it was my mate made it, he was the do director and I was part of a crew and it, that was a bit like a little success thing. So I was making What's content and media. Uh, Eddie yeah, Strongman. Eddie Strongman. I don't think it's still on Netflix, but like they syndicated it for a bit in 2015. Um, so, but that was like a thing that we did. It like, existed. It's on IMDb, and I've got an IMDb, you know. So, um, oh, it's about uh, it's about Eddie Hall, the, the yeah. strongman, yeah, Eddie style strongman. So we made a documentary, and so after that, I was committed to sort of making documentary stuff. But uh, we had a COVID, so I ended up caring for my nan at home instead. Um, and now okay. I make content online. Yeah, so. Um, I had this backup channel, this like, uh, it was called Battery Exhausted. It's just like, I used to throw up like, you know, little YouTube edits of rubbish. Um, and then I would do this other stuff, Super Chuffer. And this man called Alan basically stole some of my content. He's a bit of an idiot. Long story short, you couldn't explain DSP to people in 10 minutes. So I won't try and explain Alan in 10 minutes. Yeah. 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 Um, but, but this guy, um, I applied everything I'd learned from watching all of this detractor content to Alan and he's now my lol cow and I've turned I, he's now banned off YouTube as well so like things went really well with that um so like that was loads of fun so um, because I'm of that successful yeah, because of that battery exhausted now exists as a sort of detractor channel with other lol cows as well uh, including Phil sometimes you know and other stuff like that so I do make content that includes Phil yeah big ups yeah, you had a, a lot of hype around uh, one of those true crime moments in the UK that was going mm. on uh, what was that yeah. about? So I started a streaming channel and I was like throwing a bit of like, you know, variety ideas around trying to see what stuck. And I do some body language analysis and stuff like that. And there was this guy who didn't murder his wife. Yeah. Um, she mm -hmm. disappeared and was found like 30 days later in the river. So he did a TV interview and he looked really guilty. So I basically did a body language analysis to say that. And people liked hearing me talk about that. So um, I carried on analyzing other videos of people associated with that case um that's really the thing i like to watch people and react to them and say what you know pause it and talk about it and say what i think i'm not really qualified as a psychologist or anything like that so um it's just content you know entertainment but it did take off people were interested in the channel sort of exploded a bit so now i try and focus the content on super chuffer i don't want to make it true crime because it's real dark and you just talk about murder all the time um yeah. so now what i try and do is what i like to think of as true crime adjacent baxter will know about this like steve of the dead i'm going to hope to get more content on the go later in the year where we make stuff that's psychology you know crime but it's not pointed at like oh, look at this dead child and look at this horrible thing that happened, but more about the motivations and other deeper stories that go with it. So uh, more about crime and, uh, sorry, more about psychology than crime. But yeah, that's what I'm doing over on Super Chuffer, yeah. So I'm just really lucky. A lot of the people that watch me there also watch me talk shit about Alan as well and other lol cows. So um, yeah, it's really great being on the internet and just having fun talking to people. Yeah. Real quick, did the guy actually kill his wife though? What's the, what um, the well, at the story? end? Uh, the finish of the story is they had an inquest, and the inquest said it was just accidental death. Um, so everyone's got to go home. But uh, everyone on the internet knows that there's lots of other circumstantial evidence that doesn't quite add up. Um, and I'm continuing my investigation and making further videos on it. So uh, rather than like, it's it's another one. It's like trying to explain Dark Side Phil in ten minutes. You know. Yeah. But if you want to watch it on Super Chuffer channel, I've got a you know, massive playlist. Check out my really big playlist. The girth on that playlist, I have to measure it with an IKEA receipt. So <laughs> do you have any intel on the T, actually? Who killed T? We're still wondering. <laughs> yeah, I do. It's Phil's fault. He definitely murdered him. <laughs> oh, okay. That's that's what I always thought. I mean everyone kind of thinks that, but we're not really sure. Really, you know, not no. confirmed. But, Closure okay, for confirmed. everyone. <laughs> that's it. Lock it up, boys. <laughs> Closure has been, been obtained. All right, like one or two more messages, Meerkat, before we get out of here. All right, we have uh, Philip Burnell this time with an F. So don't get excited, everybody. It's not yes. the real guy. 
We got the real guy calling in twice today, so that's enough for today. That's enough. And Jasper. Right, so right, just listen to this, okay? Are you ready? <laughs> oh, no, so tells me that it's him. on the That Being Said podcast. By the way, yeah. I have heard of this. It's just a bunch of fucking losers with nothing <laughs> better to do than take yes. every word I say out of context and spin it in the Correct. worst way possible. Anyway, Correct. Derek says that they are having, and just listen to this, a Cha Ching of the ring. Oh, yeah, I'm we played serious, this last week. Not even joking. Mm -hmm. A Cha Ching of the ring. What the hell is that? Is that like <laughs> where you eat 50 Big Macs and guzzle a bottle of laxatives so that you take a big crap and your ass goes, Cha Ching? I mean, what Scott fucking talk. idiots, man. <laughs> <laughs> yep that's what it is uh, the cha-ching we gotta change it to the cha-ching so if phil called up at this point would you be able to distinguish him from one of those because like, yes 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 yeah because yes. uh because uh the message would cut off and there would be like 16 parts to it because uh -huh. we have a limit part of two. Uh, 90 seconds on the messages so yeah and the final <laughs> one would just imagine? have a singular snort yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. why well, one more thing this is this is exactly what happened though i i know yeah, yeah, you, yeah, you're yeah, joking but thing. Uh, when he used to do his um, his schedules, he used to do an audio schedule on Twitter because yes. you know Super Blind Man used to watch him, and then he left. But when Super Blind Man used to watch him, he used to do the audio only schedule, and one of the parts automatically cut off, and all that was left is just one second of a single snort. That was it. <laughs> the scheduling is interminable, isn't it? Like so, it's, it's an interminable pain. Like it will go on forever, and we will never hear the end of it. He actually changed schedule midstream the other day, and we had to have a pre-gameplay schedule to explain that this approved schedule is now not the current schedule. Like, you, you, why can't you just do things? <laughs> like, no one else does this. Why can't you yeah. just do things? In this How, last week, yeah, it's been particularly terrible because he's been playing, <laughs> for the most part, only two games. It just mm. just the Yakuza game and Baldur's Gate 3, and we have to talk about playing them every single day in the exact same way. There's no change. It's yeah. Just... Because he's, there's nothing else to talk about. It's just, all right, guys, we're going to play these two games. Uh, last and night I did this. How about this as well, right? He goes on and on about the schedule, but you can't, like, at the end of it, I can't remember what day he's doing what, because having someone just talk at you like that doesn't help at all with remembering a schedule, does it? So no, like, yeah. you just, all you need is the graphic and you could just put the graphic up and say, there's the schedule, right, moving on. But like, like why can't we have that? Like we talked about, <laughs> he doesn't have anything else to say. So when you don't have anything to say, schedule is guaranteed words to say, you know what I mean? I mean, I guess. I think you it's like a life jacket. It's like a life He hates his wife, so he can't talk about that. He has no chemistry with her, so can't talk to her. But I don't have any time to be with her anyway, so... I'm amazed with his fans who can deal with this much verbal diarrhea at this point. It's like yeah. constantly, well, like at least I, I, 20 <laughs> minutes every day. Here's a question. For you. I love that he brings up special occasions. Uh, no, not special events. I have a big announcement. And then the big announcement is, well, I'm just going to continue what I'm doing. It's like, wow, amazing. Guys, my <laughs> power company just, uh, just called me and they said, they're going to build me the same amount they built me last year. Oh, well, <laughs> amazing. <laughs> Um, Baxter, do you think it's comforting for people in some way to watch him say the same things over and over again in some sort of routine? Like, do you think it's like, you know, safe space that, oh, well, this is the same, like the same old routine. Do you know what I mean? Do you think his viewers take comfort uh, in that? I wouldn't, I wouldn't say safe for other people. I would say comforting and safe for himself. Like a lot of people, people have brought up stimming recently, very often. Yeah. Like he's, he's stroking his hair like, oh, guys. Actually, the schedule is pretty good right now, and the games I'm playing, and it's like he—he's just stimming. He's and this repetition is reassuring himself what I'm actually doing is good, what I'm doing is well, what I'm doing is is a uh, uh, the viewers like what I'm doing. It's calming himself because he's and, unsure about how people will perceive it. He is off the just going crazy with the ticks and stuff too. Like yeah. with, with, like like a dragon when the when the fucking cutscenes are going, just be like. Blinking sometimes and like, you know, just doing weird face ticks. And like, I didn't rec I didn't the see that digs, as before. All that. Well, ear digs, that's classic. That's the, like, the, you know, that's like Hotel California for the Eagles. But like, he's like the, the, he, he gets this going and it's like, what is that? I don't, who knows? <laughs> I, I like to think because nerves and like the brain are connected, aren't they? So I like to think that's when the repression is kicking in. <laughs> like ah. something's, something's happening that won't come through. <laughs> like, <laughs> 
Mm. Uh, I see we do have a uh, uh, a Steve of the Bed video, Meerkat. Do you want to play that one today before we get out of here? Uh, where is that? I sent it to the message style messages in your message box. Right into your box, brother. What? Oh, I sent it right okay, to your box. Well, that, that's going to be a little bit difficult. Okay, let me... Where can I send it? I'll send it somewhere else if you need me to. No, no, no. I'll send no, it wherever it, you want, it. brother. I, I will it. deliver my good. load wherever you need. Sam's oh. brilliant, isn't he? <laughs> no, Nick Cat's brilliant as well. There we go. Hi, everybody. Steve of the Shed here, a.k.a. Steve of the Bed or Steve of the Dead, depending on where I'm filming from. It's midnight. It's always yes. midnight. This is your right ear and your left ear. And today I've got a quick point about Phil's use of the word bipolar even though Fax is on the show, so you've probably already gone over it. Anyway, in a recent rant about Rich's former editor, Jay, Phil called Jay bipolar. The actual quote is... No. Do you mind, mate? I'm trying to film. Oh, cool. No, British style get, airplane. I need to get Fucking some it, patches yeah. of soundproof foam and then put them ineffectually around me. So it doesn't actually make any sense. Like, I'll have one like, way over there on the other side of the shed. The that landscape take care of that problem. Anyway, the actual quote is... Jay supposedly wanted to have me on just like a quick show for like a chill stream or something and then I guess he's bipolar or something because he said something publicly that literally didn't happen in the talks we had. Um, if you go to Pick the Go and you have a look through the search results for bipolar you'll find that Phil has used bipolar in this sense before. He's used it to mean somebody said one thing and then did another. He's, he's described Machinima as a bipolar company. Uh, he's described Rich as bipolar, ironically, because yes. Rich has mm. previously defended Phil and then later changed his mind and criticised Phil. So for Phil, that appears to be the definition of bipolar. You say one thing and then do another. Um, bipolar disorder is actually a, a mental disorder where your emotions are in a sort of balanced state. You will experience one of two extremes. You'll either be uh, in, in a state of mania where you will have a lot of energy and very few inhibitions and you will engage in potentially risky or self-destructive behaviours. Or you'll experience a depressive state where you'll be depressed, you'll be unable to function, you might be suicidal. And these states you'll typically be in for periods uh, between weeks and months. Uh, there is a third rarer form of bipolar disorder where an individual suffering from it experiences what's called rapid cycling, where they go through these phases in periods of like hours to about a day or two. But typically, most people with bipolar disorder will experience these states for weeks or months, and they'll, you know, manage their uh, disorder with medication that will sort of like stabilize their moods. So it's the mood instability that is characteristic of bipolar disorder here, not you say one thing and then do another. If you get to the very start of the Pig Pig Go results, you find the very first time Phil said the word bipolar, you'll find that it's in a game called Prototype, which is a fantastic game. And Phil describes the main character, Alex Mercer, as bipolar because he's hearing voices. Which seems to suggest that Phil doesn't understand the difference between bipolar and schizophrenia. Which is very fucking irritating when you're, you know, a psychologist or you have bipolar disorder or schizophrenia. Because you'll know the actual definition of those words, you'll know what they mean and you'll know that Phil is wrong about it. <laughs> But later on, Phil seems to get corrected because there's another game. I think it's it's like Visage or Man of Medan or, you know, one of those like narrative games um, where he says that's schizophrenia. No, not bipolar. Schizophrenia, I think, is the actual phrase. I think he gets bipolar first and then corrects himself to schizophrenia when he's talking about an actual schizophrenic person. But either way, it seems to be like this confusion born of the the misunderstanding of the disconnect between reality and what the schizophrenic person is experiencing. A schizophrenic person might see and hear things that aren't there. And, you know, that's a disconnect from reality. Whereas for Phil, the disconnect from reality is when you say you do one thing and then you do another. He probably described Evil AJ as bipolar as well, because Evil AJ, you know, said one thing and then later said another. But the idea that, you know, Rich is bipolar because he defended me and then he turned against me. That's that's the issue here because Phil just doesn't get what that is. That's just somebody changing their mind. You know, bipolar disorder is a real thing. Bipolar has an actual definition. Just like percentile and groupthink, bipolar is a term that means a thing. And Phil doesn't seem to understand it. He then later describes Jay as, I hate to say it, but the guy feels like he's two different personalities. On one hand, he says one thing, and on the other hand, he's acting like a completely different thing happened. Now, I don't think Phil knows enough about disassociative identity disorder to actually properly like conceptualize and use it. He's probably got this sort of like awareness of multiple he doesn't know personality enough about anything. disorder, probably still thinks of it like that. 
But his usage of that and bipolar and schizophrenia is sort of mm -hmm. more casual and slang, like not really knowing the terms, but knowing they mean something. So his, his misapplication of these words is fucking infuriating me, and I'm once again appearing on the show to beg any of the flying monkeys that are watching this to please correct him. Please, like, actually go and say, Phil, that's not what bipolar means. Because he's winding me up, and I'm sure it must be incredibly offensive to anybody who's watching this with bipolar disorder or schizophrenia or disassociative identity disorder. I imagine it must be like when he talks about his back and I'm sitting here with a titanium cage around the base of my spine. That's pretty hard. But anyway, I'd just like to raise that <laughs> issue and bring it to people's notice. And I'm now going to hand off back to my esteemed regular co-hosts and a wonderful panel. And I'd just like to say, Scott, be good. Because if you can't be good, you're naughty. Naughty. Hell yeah. Naughty. I love the planes. The planes were their own saga there. But yeah. yeah. The land landscapers. <laughs> He had to cut it Plane. short because he got a flight to catch. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Plane he brings his shed with. Yeah, he he brings his shed with him to the airport. <laughs> the whole, All the, right, the whole, please, Baxter. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. You the go whole first. Bipolar here, thing to me is, uh, I guess, I look at it in a simple way as a foreigner, as a you know, a foreign language speaker, because the word bipolar is just bi, which is two, and polar is like you know two. Yeah, poles, extremes poles, kind of, something. Yeah. Yeah. So when you can't make up your mind about something or you have contradicting opinions, to him that's just being bipolar because you keep switching between the two. Yeah. <laughs> but Go ahead, very, what do you very, add? very term of the word bipolar, well, like bi two and polar poles, which can also be translated to two extremes, means that you are constantly swaying between two points of extremes. There's Mania, depression, mania, depression, and that's bipolar. It's not, it's not, what, what did Ask call it? Um, it's uh, talking out of both sides of your mouth. That's actually yeah, yeah. what DSP means. Yeah, that's, what, know, that's, what, that's what he's trying to say, yes, but he's not, he's yeah. not smart enough to know that fucking saying. Go yeah. ahead, uh, super scuff. This goes back a bit to what we were saying in part one about how, um, <laughs> which you can find, and it's on a different stream. Um, th yeah. we, uh, we, <laughs> this goes back to what I was, we were saying earlier about his comprehension and his actual, like, you know, ability and whether being stunted and stuff like that. So uh, he might be using this flippantly. Like, with Steve, this is a double whammy of something Phil doesn't understand the meaning of and something that he spe says and spells wrong and like uses like it, you know it, it's when steve gets angry when he says words wrong or gets the meanings of stuff wrong um and i it occurs to me that if he wants to branch out into further content like gaming's a very safe space where you don't yep. like he's learned a lot of the concepts and he can sort of repeat them like we were saying earlier like he might not learn a lot more but he can play the game dark souls 2 dark souls 3 and make the same mistakes again um but uh like if he ventures out into other conversations about interesting stuff, he starts to reveal his lack of comprehension, I guess, and that's like a yeah. very dangerous space for him, isn't it? So I, no, that's why the reacts. Uh, that's why he skips videos and reacts because he gets to a part where he's like, I don't know what I can say here. I, this might be joking about something that I don't get, so I'll just skip. I don't know what's going on here. Fuck it, you know. That's well, that's all it is. Um, Joe, Joe Dub in the house uh, says, Jasper, I was kidding. Stop biting the cord. <laughs> yes. Jasper did bite the cord in this case. In short, I want to end with this question. Ira in the house as well says, as a bipolar style individual, I'm used to people confusing what I have with borderline personality disorder, but mm -hmm. Phil confusing it with schizophrenia angers me to no end. Big up, yeah. Ira. That must be very frustrating if you actually are, you know, dealing with it, that it, issue. It, and it's nice to know that Phil's found another way to anger somebody on different, in a different way. So. Uh-huh. And I want to end with this question here. Uh, Shorts Vault. Says, big up Shorts Vault says, who in the tractor content creator sphere that spread info on DSP that helped the House of Cards be as tall as it is could use some love? And uh, he says, Let, Let's Play would be mine, but how about you? And uh, Let's Play was very funny because someone told Phil that Let's Play is a racist term when actually it's just how literally how Japanese people would say Let's Play, like how they would spell it and everything. And uh, Phil said, that's racist. <laughs> they're, they're just as bad as me. When today I played about 50 fucking times, Philip just for no reason said, I'm, Ch I'm Chinese. <laughs> and that was the joke. <laughs> yeah. Or Chicky Chang Wang. That's the joke. There's no, there's no fucking punchline. There's no building. That's the joke. And he said, uh, I'm the same as them. But good fucking question. 
Uh, and I kind of want to end with that. So let's kind of see, what would you say? Let's start with you, Meerkat, because you got to close this thing off. You go first in this case. Who would you say deserves some more love in the, in the house? Everyone's cool, of course, but shout somebody out here. Oh, I don't know, man. I think uh, I, I would say, since we're talking about the old ones, you said let's play. Well, uh, I got to say Slow Beef, if that's it, that counts as a different person. Because Slow yeah, Beef, I think, it. got under his skin a lot with his parodies back in the day. Because the dude would make like an hour long video where he's completely in the character of DSP the whole time. And the, the dude is so entertaining and it's so great. Yep, I agree. How about you? Uh, how about you, Super Scuffer? I'm really, uh, like, I'm wanting to say Snow Carl, but uh, that's giving him money. So you can't really say it, can you? But like, <laughs> I've got a $1 tip from Snow Carl, and then you think this is going to be stupid. So I, like, that used to be like just irk him on a daily didn't it but you shouldn't give him money should you so i can't really say that um yeah. and I, I suppose i'd shout out like i mean i don't know if it helps his house of cards for but i just really enjoy the new detractors like the um detractor beam i don't know how long like king jad's been i don't know what considers new and old because i'm fairly new myself so yeah I, yeah you know but uh like you know king jad delivers a service by making it tolerable and i enjoy his scottish ranting so i'd shout him out uh and i you know, I, I think i'm on the panel with legends essentially and i i'm really enjoying like this whole thing so I'd, um yeah i think it's, it's it's weird to try and pick something out as a community effort as well because i think it's you know how lots of people have got lots of different talents and that all comes together to form this this cohesive thing oh i would actually yep. something i would shout out is that um i think detracting has a i mean there are some people go a bit extreme yeah and it has got this whole you know darker side in some parts of the internet um but overall i think there's a lot of people who see phil as a negative person a bad person uh someone with poor morals and uh, they're not the sort of morals that get you arrested and they're not the sort of morals that like you know he, he sort of gets away with his sneaky little grift and so it's a, a bunch of people drawing him to account uh making fun of him like getting under his skin like you say maybe um and i think that's actually like a morally quite positive thing so i think detractors get tired with this brush of you're sort of like online bullies or you're all taking the piss out of someone when actually you're holding someone to account that's got poor morals so I think they're actually good people that like I'm chatting to in chat and hanging out with in stream. So yeah, big ups to the detractors. Yeah. That's a, that's a, that's a different discussion. I think it's a, it's a, it's a tough to, you know, there's a tough line there. Like there, I know what you're saying. Like most people are good people, I think, but there are some people aren't and it's not us to us to decide. Everyone can decide who's good or bad, whatever the fuck you want to do. But that's interesting. Yeah. I would no, say anyways, what's your shout out Baxter? Cause we got to yeah, get out of here. Um, I can't think of anyone pretty much very, old but mm -hmm. if it's for me it's gotta be big guy go to big guy oh yes B big guy is big always guy has more take. attention in my opinion yes definitely. like i've never big guy's one of those dudes that says stuff and you never don't agree with it it's never amazing fails to be it's it's <laughs> yeah astonishing my uh, my official take would be king d d d duke uh who oh, is yeah. he uh is he, this is how you don't play uh the most prolific this is how you don't play maker i think there is and he does the tough job of getting games that aren't uh, the classics. Like, he doesn't choose GTA, which, of course, everyone... It, it's, it's not... It's, obviously, it's a lot of skill to make it this side you don't play of any kind. But those games are like the, the, easy, the easy picks, right? You know this is going to be awesome this side you don't play if you pick GTA. King Diddy Duke picks games that are not... Lend themselves to good this side you don't play. And he still makes them. And he makes them, like, once a week. And he has, like, a playlist of fucking a thousand of them, I bet. Uh, so I'd like to shout him out to get some more hype because the say you don't plays are legendary I, I, for me. I'd like to say as well, like Meerkat clearly with the music, uh, Darkseid to flow, and Ludwig, like some of those creations make Phil's idiocy exist in this other way, in this special space, and I think that makes something really special as well. So, um, yeah, I really like the people who make the music. Yeah, mm -hmm. everybody's awesome. That's the bottom line here. All right, bottom line, ding, everybody's awesome. So. We're going to finish. <laughs> is Jamie the original detractor? Now, Jamie is the person that walked in on Philip masturbating. <laughs> That's a different story. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, that could be. Maybe that was a detract original detractor was Jamie. Uh, anyways, you're all fucking legends. Uh, Baxter, you released a video not too long ago that was very hype. Can we, are we ready for more videos from Baxter coming up in the future? Come on. Let us know. True. Possibly. Um, all right. I might have something in the works. We'll see about that, right? So stay hyped. All right, stay hot. We will definitely stay hot for every Baxter video. 
Super Scuffer, what do you want to what do you want to pimp out besides I, Netflix? I've chilled everything already. Like you know, we do this on Super Chuffer. Uh, that's my main channel. I've got Battery Exhausted is the channel that you see me in chat, and I do detractor content. And I'm on Twitch with at Ganji Kid because you can't change your old gamer handle. But you know, I'm around on the internet. It's just cool. Yeah. Um, big ups. Yeah. Big ups, everybody. I'll be on the tractor. I'll be on Tractor Beam tonight, eight thirty. You'll be redirected there, even though the stream's not going to start for another fucking three hours. But be redirected there meerkat send us home oh yeah thanks everybody for watching sorry if this was a disaster on some level i'm gonna rewatch the stream back and see what can be improved and next time it's gonna be better like always uh thank you for watching i will join you guys in the discord in a second and peace out this one goes out okay this goes out to the one and only the big cat the fat cat. Big ups, mama, my wife. I first saw you in Burger King. You took two seats, cause that ass is way too big. Had a boyfriend, I realized. But you told him lies with your red. The door dash is here Wipe away your tears Got you extra fries And they taste just right Have no fear There's no trolls here Kevin made you cry With those raccoon eyes Cry with those raccoon eyes. Take you power walking on the beach. Feasting on some sushi like you were a queen. Let me run some errands while you sleep. I could watch you play Skyrim all day this week. Fear. There's no trolls here. Tevin made you cry with those raccoon eyes. Raccoon eyes. Raccoon eyes. Tevin made you cry with those raccoon eyes. Looking real hefty Tire taken urban robbery Maybe seems shocking but you're from the Middle East Now they fear you've disappeared Team divorce in chat Hashtag where is cat? Where is Cat?